everyone, greetings from Rome. In this one video on how to use EarthMap, I will present a case study in Burkina Faso that shows the development of a region after the construction of a dam aiming at creating hydropower on large-scale irrigated agriculture. EarthMap is an application that acts as an interface to Google Earth Engine. Its aim is to allow users without knowledge of the JavaScript programming language used to interact with Google Earth Engine to visualize and process some of the most widely used data sets, including climate, vegetation, forestry, burned area soils, geosocial land use, land cover classification, agriculture, and others. In this video, I will show the possibilities that EarthMap can offer a user with a case study in Burkina Faso. First of all, I will, I will give some background information about the situation in the project region. The story concerns an extensive irrigation system downstream the Bagre Dam in Burkina Faso. The Bagre Dam was inaugurated in 1994 and the irrigation scheme of the, of the dam lies 150 kilometers southeast of Burkina Faso's capital. Developing hydropower and large-scale irrigated agriculture were the two main objectives in constructing the dam. The dam's irrigation objective aims to address food security for the local and national population. Traditional cereal farming on rain-fed land is the main source of livelihood in the region, along with the raising of livestock, including pastoralism. Improving and increasing the production of rice is a key component of the government's national development policies. This story shows how EarthMap can help the user to identify the direct consequences of the construction of a dam in a given area, such as flooded areas, extension of irrigated agriculture, or number of inhabitants. In order to do a proper assessment with the EarthMap tool, we will start selecting the area of interest, Burkina Faso. And if we want to upload a shape file with the area of interest, Agriculture Expansion Bagre, we can upload it and the tool will zoom into the area of interest. Now we will activate one of the satellite images layers. We have many possibilities, Landsat, Sentinel, but we will activate the Landsat greenest pixel yearly from 1984 to 2018. And looking at the satellite images, we can observe that different land covers such as water, savanna and agricultural plantations can be easily differentiated with the satellite images colors. So in the image, water has got a blue color, savanna has yellow green color and agricultural plantations are orange brownish. The big infrastructure dam can also be very clearly spotted in the image. Also, the agriculture expansion can be identified from images in different years that you can select here in the legend. Maybe if we select an image in 1984, the situation will look very different. We can see that the dam was not built yet. If we select an image in 1998, we can spot the water and we can also, also see that the dam was constructed but the, but the irrigate, irrigation scheme was not built yet. In 2002, We can spot that agriculture was already extended 
on in 2018. We see that the agriculture ex expansion is very, is very big. It's extensive. Now imagine that we want to measure the agricultural expansion in hectares. We can simply open our fantastic imagery compare tool, which has the which offers you the possibility to measure areas. So with this tool, we can measure the area. Broadly, of course, the measurement will be very broad, but still we can make, a, make an idea of what the extension of the agriculture area is. The result will be around 5,400 hectares of agriculture extension. Now we can calculate other parameters. Looking, for example, at the water section, we can activate the water transitions from the um, GRC. And here, due to the construction of the dam, we will see that this lake was created because it's um, it's giving us a new permanent uh, water. So imagine we want to measure also the hectares of the new permanent water, but we don't have the shape file for it. We can also draw it ourselves. We can draw a new boundary here. that can be called lake. And when we click this, this boundary, this new created boundary, and if we want to calculate from this lake the surface water transitions, we can process the information and see that the new permanent water are around 7,000 hectares. And the new seasonal were 14,000 hectares. Finally, we could also have a look at population data in the area, which has more than doubled in 15 years. So there is this population information data also from the GRC, which says that between 2000 and 2015, the population more than doubled in the last 15 years, from 71,000 inhabitants in 2000 to 167,000 in 2015. Um, this population increase is most likely related to local smallhold farmers producing their own rice and their households becoming more resilient. So here in this um, case study on Burkina Faso, we can say that vegetation, water and demographic data compiled in EarthMap can indicate that the production of improved rice seeds in the Bagrat area is helping local rice producing smallholders become self-sufficient in rice production. And we could very clearly identify the direct consequences of the construction of this dam in a given area. Bye bye and hope this video helped you soon.